dear students welcome to today's class today we are going to deal with the poem a legend of the northland by phoebe carey a legend of the northland by phoebe carey phoebe carey was an american poet she was born on september 4 1824 and she was the champion of women's right and she worked she died on july 31st 1871 so this poem a legend of the northland is a ballad okay what is a ballad a ballad is a song narrating a story in short stanzas so it is a song narrating a story ballad are the part of folk culture or popular culture and are passed on orally from one generation to the next ballads are the part of folk culture it is like a folk tale okay it passes from one generation to the next generation orally it it was not written anywhere okay it is only passes from generation to generation orally okay so let's go to the poem a legend of the northland legend means story traditional story so the story of northland what is the meaning northland northland means the countries in the northern side of the earth Okay, the north countries of the earth. Okay, that part include Greenland, uh, some parts of Denmark, some parts of Russia, Norway, Canada, etc. The countries situated in the North Pole, northern side of the earth. It is very cold region. It is a high snowfall and icy region. The polar countries. Okay, so the story. that is uh, existing in yeah, among the people of northland legend means story of northland this poem narrates the legend of an old lady who anchored saint peter because of her greed so this is a poem that tells about the story of an old lady who anchored saint peter who is saint peter saint peter is a disciple or student of jesus christ okay he was, he we can say that he is a prophet or uh, he is preaching uh, uh, christianity and all oh, saint peter is a good person is a student of jesus christ so let's go to the poem away away in northland where the hours of the day are few and the nights are so long in winter that they cannot sleep them through so away away in northland in the northern countries where the hours of the day are few and the nights are so long in winter the hours of the day are very short the nights are so long in winter okay the sunlight is very less as uh, so the uh, day time is very less and the night is so long that they cannot sleep them through okay they cannot sleep them through means if they go to bed take a few hours of sleep and then when they wake up it is still night time okay that means the duration of night is very long and it is very cold also were the hanis the swift reindeer to the sledges when it snows and the children look like bears cubs in their funny furry clothes were they were means in northland they the people hanis the swift reindeer hanis means leather straps to tie the horse or deers to the cart okay so they harness they tie 
the swift reindeer swift deer reindeer is a kind of deer in polar regions in cold regions so they tie the reindeer reindeer is the vehicle of christmas papa santa claus okay so reindeer they uh, tie the re, uh, reindeer to the sledges when it snow sledges means the vehicles uh, that used to travel over snow so you can see the picture sledges when it snows and how does the children look like they look like bear cubs in their funny furry clothes furry clothes in their woolen clothes they resembles resemble like bear cup they tell them a curious story i don't believe it's true and yet you may learn a lesson if i tell the tale to you they tell them a curious story the elder persons in northland tell a uh, tell the uh, children a curious story i don't believe it's true the poet doesn't believe that it is true but and yet you may learn a lesson but if i tell the tale to if i tell this story to you you will get a lesson to learn from the story okay there is an important message in the story once when the good saint peter lived in the world below and walked about it preaching just as he did you know so once there lived a good saint peter the disciple of the student of jesus christ saint peter he lived in the world below he was traveling all over the world walked about it preaching just as he did his work a job is to preach what is the meaning preach religious like giving a religious lectures okay he is a uh, saint and he uh, spread christianity he says the good qualities of christianity and jesus christ etc he came to the door of a cottage in traveling round the earth where a little woman was making cakes and baking them on the hearth he came to the so uh, as traveling around around the earth traveling all over the world one day he came to the, came in front of a cottage where a little woman was making cakes and baking them on the hearth and it is the cottage of a little woman who make who makes cakes and bakes them on the hearth hearth means oven and being faint with fasting for the day was almost done he asked her store of cakes to give him a single one and being faint with fasting he become very weak with fasting fasting he doesn't have anything to eat so he is very weak for the day was almost done the day was almost over this evening he asked her from her store of cakes to give him a single one so the saint asked him asked her one cake from the collection of cakes because she stored a lot of cakes on her in her house so he asked for one so she made a very little cake but as it baking lay she looked it at and thought it seemed too large to give away okay so she was not ready to give a cake she has already prepared because she thought that all those cakes are big so she made a very little cake she made a small cake uh, and baked it but when she looked at the cake she felt that it is too large to give away too large to give someone it is also big so she doesn't have uh, an intention to give it okay she thought that it is also big therefore she needed another and still a smaller one but it looked when she turned it over as large as the first had done therefore she needed another needed means 
kneading the dough okay she took a, a small piece of dough and still a smaller one but it looked when she turned it when she baked it made it as a cake she felt that it is also big it is as large as the first one then she took a tiny scrap of dough and rolled and rolled it flat and baked it thin as a wafer but she couldn't part with that then she took another tiny piece of dough and rolled it rolled it rolled it flat and baked it thin as a wafer but she couldn't give that thin piece of cake even that very small thin piece of cake to the saint for she said my cake seem too small when i eat of them myself are yet too large to give away so she put them on the shelf so she is saying herself that my cakes that seem too small when i eat of them myself when i eat my own cakes it looks me too small but the same cake looks too large when i want to give it to someone so when i try to give it to someone it looks very small sorry it looks very big so what did she do she put all the store on the shelf she couldn't uh, she didn't give any cake to the saint then good saint peter grew angry for he was hungry and faint and surely such a woman was enough to provoke a saint then the good saint peter grew angry the uh, saint become very angry because he was very hungry and weak okay so surely the behavior of the old lady made the saint peter made a uh, saint peter very angry okay provoke means make angry and he said you are far too selfish to dwell in a human form to have both food and shelter and fire to keep you warm so he became very angry and he said that you are far too selfish to dwell in a human form you are very selfish you do not deserve a human form you mm, do not deserve to live like a human being because Uh, god has given you both food and shelter and fire to keep you warm but she didn't want to share them with anybody so she does not deserve a human form a human body now you shall build as the birds do and and shall get you a scanty food for boring and boring and boring all day in the hard dry wood so the saint he cursed the woman okay now you shall build as the birds do now you have to build your house as the birds do and as the birds uh, do she has to find out her food also by boring and boring all day in the hard dry wood boring means digging okay the birds has to find the birds have to find out their food digging uh, uh, on the wood dry wood then only for all day they want to do that then only they will get a, they will get a small amount of food so just like that the woodpecker do boring digging the wood the woman also wanted to do like that in order to get a shelter and food okay uh, she wanted to uh, uh, dig uh, the hard wood uh, hard wood uh, the whole day to get a small piece of food to get a small amount of food 
Then up she went through the chimney, never speaking a word, and out of the top flew a woodpecker, for she was changed as a bird. Okay. As soon as Saint Peter cursed the woman, the woman didn't get a chance to speak, never speaking a word. She didn't get a chance to speak. The very moment he cursed the woman, she flew up to the roof through the chimney in the form of a bird woodpecker. Okay, in the form of the bird woodpecker, she became a woodpecker. She changed. She was changed to a bird. She had a scarlet cap on her head, and that was left the same. But all the rest of her clothes were burned black as a coal in the flame. She had a scarlet cap on her head and that was left the same. When the woman uh, turned into a bird, at that time she was wearing a red colored cap on her head. Scarlet means red color, bright red color. Uh, so she was wearing a bright red colored cap on her head. This cap was there on the bird's head also. Okay, so the head of the bird is in red color and the woman's remaining clothes, all the remaining clothes, they had burned and turned black in color just like coal. All the other dress uh, clothes become burnt and they turned into a black color as a coal. Um, so, uh, the you can, uh, when you watch or observe a woodpecker, you can see that its head is in red color and the rest of the body is in black color. Okay. And every country schoolboy has seen her in the wood where she lives in the trees till this very day, boring and boring for food and every country schoolboy has seen her in the wood people who live in countryside countryside means village area even the small children who go to school can see this bird in the woods okay where she lives in the trees till this very day boring and boring for food okay they see that she stays or the bird stays there all days and keeps on digging the wood with her beak to collect food. So, whenever any child sees this bird, then his elders tell him this story that they say that the bird used to be a woman earlier. Okay, she was very greedy and so she was cursed by Saint Peter and turned into a bird. So every elder they may say this story to the to their children. So the children get a message that they should not be greedy and selfish. So their children learn from the story that they should not be ever greedy and selfish. Okay. So this is all about the poem, A Legend of the Northland. Thank you.